All right, so we are on a mission today, and that mission is to get, oh, where do we gotta go? We gotta go to, to Hesperia, California. We have to go to San Diego, and we have to go to San Diego, and we have to go to King of Hammers, and we have to go to Yucca Valley. So we got a lot of stuff to do, but the goal is we gotta get everything done, and Hillbilly is gonna conquer Chocolate Thunder. Hillbilly. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, look at that line of cars. There's one wagon. No, it wasn't the right one. Whoa! Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. There were some cool cars. So, to give you a little context, guys, we are headed to Hesperia, California, to a company called Ameribraid. We are going to pick up a brand new belt grinder for the shop, a two by 72. This is gonna be a game changer. We're super excited, all the fun stuff. And it was just easier to pick it up than to have it shipped. So we're gonna go there. Hopefully they're gonna show us their shop because that'd be cool. I love how things work, how it's made, all that fun stuff. After that, we're going to look at a car. Now this car, we cannot show you guys in a video because we're going into Mexico to look at it. Then we're coming back. Hello. More about that car later. I'll talk about the car, but I can't show you the car because it's secret. So, shh. Yes, shh. So I'm gonna talk to you about it, but you can't tell anybody. It's a wing car. It's a car that I've looked for for my entire life. So it flies? Like yes, it's like a, it's a bird. Literally, it's a bird. It's a super bird. Like Roadrunner? Yeah, like a 1970 Plymouth Superbird, but don't tell anybody. Hey guys, it's a super bird, but don't say nothing because I wasn't supposed to say nothing. Yeah, now that we're all on the same page that we're gonna, oh, and we can't tell the boss. Cause she'll be so pissed. But another thing we're doing is we're gonna go and we're gonna look for a Stanley Cup for the boss. Cause there's a new one. There's an oil slick and she wants it. So we're gonna head up every single Dick's Sporting Goods and Target in California until we find that cup. So come with us. And if any of you see this Stanley Cup right here, bing, we need it. Because for every car we buy, we just get the boss a Stanley and then she's fine with it. She forgets about the car. Yeah, she forgets about the car and the cost and all that fun stuff that nobody cares about. Except, except for her. her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're driving, we'll be there in a minute. All right, so we made it to the Ameribraid Manufacturing Headquarters in Hesperia, California. This place is, if you guys have watched the channel for a long time, you know that we love manufacturing. We love how things are made. We love to see the inner workings of pretty much everything. So being in here, seeing how they manufacture every single thing in house, the only thing they don't manufacture in house, I believe is the ball door motors. So anyway, they build all their wheels. They build all the components. They have a laser shop off property at another facility where they actually cut everything. They have some CNC vendors. They bend all the parts for the Maribraid grinders and I mean, this is super awesome. They've got CNC, they've got lathe. Anyway, we've been going through this for like an hour. You're only gonna see a few seconds of it, but this is so awesome. And we're gonna be taking home one of their two by 72 grinders. We're gonna be setting it up at the shop. And we're gonna be using that thing probably more than anything we use. I can't grind straight with the Milwaukee handheld, but it's no. gonna help a lot. Yeah, nothing against the hand grinders, but this just, is gonna be me. precise. I can't hold it straight. Yep. So we're super excited to get that back and let's go check out the boxes and talk with the owners and let's get on the road. We got more stuff. We still gotta get Dick Sporting Goods because we got a Stanley to find. Look at this. Those the dice. This is the wheel. So let's go like in trace, there. But, I mean, black one. It's like trace or is that one the mess? No, up? I don't think it trace anything. It's all manual or it's all programmed, but look at this. This is what it starts out as. Oh, that one. Oh, look, and it's got like a... That is so cool. All right, so basically, that machine just took this and turned it into that. It even bevels the edges. I would imagine they run another program on the backside but that's at another time. So this comes out of their laser shop, comes over here to the machine shop. So this machine takes some V7 all thread, cuts it down, knurls it, then you press it into here and voila, handle is built. And they build all this in house. That is so freaking cool.
And so, you know, if it gets rusty, it's one thing, but even too, like, uh, you know, from the desert industry where we always clean it up back for any joints, so when we TIG weld it, just put a little scale on there. So you gotta clean all of your tubing. Okay, so it's just like a super fine grind. Yeah, you can put on other stuff, but we yeah, put on no, 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 that's... grid. We found it doesn't like make it any smaller yeah. noticeably, so, well, but it still smooth. makes it real nice. Well, then you don't have like dig marks. Dig marks. Yeah. yeah. You're always trying to like do it carefully. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, always, yeah. yeah. you always get flat spots. That is so cool. All right, so they just they just brought us in on a top secret attachment. It's a prototype, so that's the polisher. That's the tubing polisher. That thing is super slick. They use a 400 grit belt and they've just got that auto feeder and it cleans it up perfect. No more grinding flat spots all the way around your tubing. So we're with Kevin and Eric from Ameribraid. They're gonna explain what exactly this is that we've got on the pallet. This is our mastery kit. And this is what we deem, this is the essentials of what you need to master pretty much any metal work. We sell to a lot of different industries, but this one kit will allow you to master anything. It's one machine that can be used a lot of different ways. It's a belt grinder, so you can notch tubes, grind metal, clean up plasma cut parts, um, shape metal, uh, use it for anyone who's working with metal. This is gonna completely improve your life. So excited to see how you guys use Wait, it. Wait, no, it's it's the two by 72? Yep. So like I was saying earlier, it's the two by 72. Once we get it back to the shop and put it together, we'll show you. This is the two inch wide belt, 72 inches long, around. <laughs> so, Anyway, and one of the super cool things is yeah. you've got these scotch Brite belts. And, oh, so you can clean stuff everything. up, you can, yeah, it's so nice for, especially when you do plasma cut parts, you'll clean up the profile, you'll get a slag off, clean up the profile, and then kiss everything just by hand with one of those, and the part in the bracket will be so smooth, it's gorgeous. So you can TIG I need to do it. a video or something. TIG or even like all my seat mounts and everything, I would do that, and then when you're down in there later on working, there's nothing sharp hitting your hands. That makes sense. Yeah, it's super nice. It's way cool. They use high quality ball door motors. This is a 220 version with a three horsepower electric motor. I've seen a lot of videos. I've never actually used one yet, so I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get it back and start using it. Well, we appreciate it. Yes. We're excited I, to use it. I just got one question. Yeah. Is there box number eight there? Oh, so <laughs> anytime we get anything, I swear to you, box number eight is always missing. missing? Yeah. It has the most important piece. So we, we joke. When something's missing, we always just say it's in box number eight. Yeah. It, it probably That's why we only ship yeah. seven. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> only seven boxes, so we're safe. All right, so we just left Ameribraid headquarters in Hesperia. That place was awesome. We probably could have spent all day, but we figured wasting two and a half hours of their day was plenty of time to waste, so we got out of there. But we are headed to Dick's Sporting Goods because now that we've got a new tool, so not just cars, Whenever we buy anything, we just have to get the boss cup. So we're headed to Dick's Sporting Goods to see if we can find all new Stanley Cup. So between here and Mexico, where we're headed, there's five Dick's Sporting Goods. We're going to hit them all if we have to. Hopefully we find it in the first one, though. That would be so dope. If we find it in the first one, we're buying multiples. All right. Arrived. We arrived. We found our first Dick's Sporting Goods. So we're going to go in and check the shelves to see if they have the new, improved, improved, latest and greatest Stanley. Oil slick or jet Oil fuel? Oil slick. I don't know. All right. Some psychopath already came and bought 70 of them. Was it your wife? No. Probably. What is wrong with people? We just bought one. Seven. Okay. Uh, so we left Dick's Sporting Goods and we decided it'd be smarter if we just start calling around. We're going to one right now. We're not going to call it because finding a Stanley Cup, it's all about the chase, okay? We don't actually care about this cup. We don't, we're never going to use it. We don't even want to put anything in it because that'll, that'll downgrade its value. It's I've, never going to see ice. I've called six different places. So Colton just called the last one and he goes, Do you have any black chroma Stanley Cups? And the lady's like, No, we are fresh out. He's like, does any of your employees have any for sale? And she's like, My employees do not have any of them! How dare you! <laughs> and he was just joking. Just a joke. She took that way serious. So we're finding out that there are psychotic people in this world that go and buy out every store. All we want is one. 
Just one black chroma. 40 ounce Stanley Tumbler. Oh, it's like the oh. unicorn. It's the unicorn of the week. Next week, nobody will care. <sighs> anyway, we're on the hunt. We're, we're on gonna the have hunt. To... I'm not giving up. We're not giving up. So we're just a little bit devastated and the devastation's making us hungry. So we found an In-N-Out burger. We're gonna go in, we're gonna lick our wounds, fill up on food, and then get out. And yeah, and figure out our next plan of attack. All right, we're just filling up because the race is still on. We're gonna find a Stanley Cup today. Once we find it, we're buying them all. Yes, all of them. The whole car, all of them, all of them. Yeah. I feel like we should get some employees in on them and have them help us. Yeah. It's like almost as good as finding cars. <laughs> Find a Stanley. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But here's the, here's the problem. The marketing department at Stanley, you guys are crazy. You started a cult. Nobody needs a hundred Stanley cups. Nobody, nobody. When in Rome, you get in and out. All right. We're all fueled up and ready to go. Okay. When your car's about to run out of gas, it doesn't run very good. So when your body's about to run out of gas, it doesn't run very good either, so. Or think. Yeah, or think. Our problem is we quit thinking. Now that we've ate, we realize that this mission is mission impossible, and it's also crazy. But since we already committed to finding this cup, we're gonna do it anyways. So let's go to Dick's Sporting Goods. All right, we made it to the next and final stop. If we don't find it here, we're gonna get on Marketplace, and we're gonna find the cup hoarders, and we're gonna show up at their houses. Actually, we'll probably just give up and <laughs> keep going. We are Team Stanley investigators documenting our discovery. Oh. We are in La Hala. La Hala. And we are right on the ocean. And Hillbilly thinks that you float if you go out in it. So he's not going out in it. Sorry, Hillbilly. But I have good news. We're going to make the boss happy because we're going to go look at a ring that she wants for Valentine's Day. And then I found a private seller on Marketplace that has one of those stupid cups. So we're also gonna get Emery a cup, hopefully, if she responds and, and takes the bait. I've baited the Marketplace seller, so we'll see. It's just me and, just me and Colt, we got out, we decided to walk, so there's no parking here. We made Hillbilly go drive around. Well, we came all the way down here to the ocean and they don't have the ring. Should have called. Should have called. Story of our lives, we don't make phone calls. We just go all the way to San Diego, try to look at a ring. They don't have it, but they have it in their Washington state location. So I guess I'm gonna have to go there with the boss. All right, well, time to go and do a marketplace meetup, like a drug deal and buy a cup. All right, so that was, that was pretty quick. So our chauffeur is here and we're gonna head off to Maybe do a, luck. no. She called first. That was a long drive for no luck. Just we don't need a voice thinking of, outside the box. We don't need a voice of reason or we brought you to the ocean. Yeah, we brought you to the ocean. Be grateful. I'm in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Let's go. Just we got another parking lot to go meet up in for our cup deal. Is it a gas station parking lot? No, it's a plaza. We're in the parking lot of Tarjay. I'm about to go make my deal. <laughs> I am excited. We already saw her. She's got her bodyguard with. These cups are valuable. Oh, there's a truck right there. Look at it. So beautiful. Not one, but two. What? I'm in. <laughs> She's all, I got another one. I was like, I'll take I it. it. <laughs> two of them. Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna out her because the lady was super nice, but it may or may not have paid a hundred bucks a piece. But then life was super nice. Once I bought one, you know what? One cup needs a friend, so. Yeah. All right, so I just want to talk about this. We were sitting in the parking lot of a Target, getting ready to make a undercover deal, getting us some Stanleys. We made the deal. But if you guys see us out in public, we'd love when you guys come up and talk to us and hang out and chat. A guy named Greg approached us and it, it made his day. And it makes our day because we don't really realize the impact that we have on people until we're talking to them face to face. So it's super cool. So thank you awesome people, you right there, all of you, for making our days when you come up to us and talk to us. But now that we have successfully got the boss what she wants, we're gonna go up in here to Mexico 
and hopefully secure a deal for the biggest car purchase of my entire life. And I realize you guys aren't gonna go with us on this out of respect for the owner and a location and all of the things that we can't put out on the internet. But when we do buy it and when we come and get it, you're coming with us because we're not leaving you home. But if we make the deal, I'll tell you guys all about it, talk about it, show you what kind of car it is, show you a couple pictures of it, and then hopefully we get it back in our possession soon. So we're gonna do that real quick. Then we're headed back to King of the Hammers and we're going at Hillbilly is conquering Chocolate Thunder tonight. Oh, Chocolate Thunder tonight. That is a very big hand. Six hours later. All right, we made it back to Johnson Valley. We're out here on the lake bed. It is after midnight and we're getting the Bronx start started up because we are headed to Chocolate Thunder, which is right up there behind us. And we are gonna go and Hillbilly is gonna conquer Chocolate Thunder here at King of the Hammers. But I wanna recap a little bit. So we have been in an undisclosed location in Mexico for the last little bit. Oh, there's Baja Designs. No, no. Anyway, we went down to Mexico today to look at a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Now, I secured the deal. So we are gonna be going back and picking that car up at a later date. I'm gonna take you guys with, I wanna talk to you a little bit about the 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Okay, 1,930 of these cars were built. They were built as a race car. They were built in 1970, and one car per dealership was distributed across the nation. So a very, very limited amount of these cars were built. There was a very few amount of them that were Hemis. This car happens to be a 440 car, super freaking cool. The 1970 Plymouth Superbird was built on the 1970 Roadrunner platform. What they did is they put a real big plug in the back window. They made the back panel flat, aerodynamic. They put a big wing on the rear. They used Dodge Coronet front fenders and they chopped the front of the hood off, put a nose cone on it and turned this thing into a super burn. Super awesome is what it is. But enough about that. We'll talk about more of the super bird history once we pick the car up because we got chocolate thunder to conquer and it's super cold and I'm starting to shiver. So we're gonna head up there. So we got Hillbilly, we got Colton. Woo! Three songs. Yeah. And we're gonna head up and have ourselves an awesome night and get this thing up Chocolate Thunder. Okay, we made it to Chocolate Thunder. There's so many people here. So we're gonna air down the tires, let out some pressure, and get ready to have a heck of a night. You know what? If Hillbilly doesn't make it, that's fine. Just being here hanging out, worth it. I think we're gonna have a lot of people rooting for him. He be pretty fun. Let's see. I think we're good. I am so cold. Okay. Me and Colton are gonna walk it next to him and hope for the best. But I think it, I think he's good. Oh, I think he's got it. Dude, Dude, look at this. We got like thousands of They're people just, up here. It's not like the pressure's on. Look at Oh it. no, not at all. It's not like there's are you ready for this? It's not like there's a thousand people watching. <laughs> Woo! Oh that, oh, that was a firework. It backfired on him. Look at this, we got fireworks going off. We got Hillbilly just oh, you're tickled to be a pink. Fan. Ah, who cares? It'll just look like fireworks. Dude, <laughs> all right, we're gonna start walking. Good luck. You not riding with me? Now I'm walking. All right, I've got to talk to the camera. Good luck. Cole could talk. We'll watch. I'm seriously so pumped for Hillbilly right now. I wish I had something to go up this with, but you know what? At least we're here and he's gonna have a heck of a fun time. I'm gonna spot him so he doesn't hit his ram, but he'll be good. Look at that four wheel steer. Fuck. Yeah, we're here with Hillbilly. 
It's already stuck on it. He's already stuck. Hit it. It's already stuck on that cross number. Hey, we're learning. We're gonna tell. Yo, Billy, you gotta hit it. You're gonna hit that cross number. You gotta get over it. Go, go, go! immediately went right into the steering but it's all good you can make it just fine this is one of the longest lines we've ever had a wait in we got a jeep and a toyota up here just trying to i don't know what they're trying to do but they're not moving the toyota in front of us then hillbilly and the bronx star they get going but hey it's okay that they're waiting because the coolant can cool down one eternity later all right the toyota just made it we're about to start going. Just earned to not be called the Bronx Herd anymore. Yeah. So, nothing better. Hanging out with my team, the best friends you could ever ask for. Just chilling, basking in the rewards of all your labor. Freaking awesome. No issues. So freaking awesome. We're going to keep having fun. Billy's over there helping. We're just watching. Everybody's fine. It's gonna roll! Oh, oh, oh. Got another one coming down. Good job, Hillbilly. That was all you. <laughs> Whatever. Redemption. <laughs> Toyota, whatever, his rear axle left the chat. So he went ahead and just backed it back down before he got himself into too much trouble. You don't need a rear axle, but it helps. It does help. He's a smart man. Oh, oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. That one's back 
That thing is broken. <laughs> it needs to go home. This is what you call flexing, literally. I really want a buggy. All right, so me and Hillbilly are in the Bronx Star. We're gonna go hit Chocolate Thunder again and try to get some cool footage inside. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with ease. up and go passenger. You've got like nothing over here. There you go. Make that line. So the Bronx Star did it again. Literally like it was nothing, just articulated through. She's doing about 2.30. Turn your lights on real quick, too. I don't think we're steaming. That gauge has gotta be wrong. It's not even steaming. Careful. The lights have her on it. Look, my hands are cold, but it's not like. All right, so Colton's hands are on the radiator and it's not that hot. I don't think we're overheating. Anyway, we're gonna get off Chocolate Thunder and get down to the trailer, get loaded and grab the bus. This has been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, she's Go towards the center of the radiator. I mean, it's like, four steering's cool. It's not bad. Real Baja lights. I can't, they're too bright. They're awesome. <laughs> oh. Hey, passenger. Hey, Pat. Rock crawler life, my guy. We had a little discombobulation on loading. We weren't watching this side and it decided to come off. Then the back slid off, but we did a trick. We used handyman jack on the wheel, lifted it up, was able to crawl back. So we're gonna hurry and put some tools away. We'll get it loaded and we are out of here. All right, so our trip here at King of the Hammers has come to an end. We had so much fun and we hope that you had just as much fun hanging out with us while Hillbilly in the Bronx Star conquered Chocolate Thunder. We just had a blast. There's nothing better than hanging out with your friends out in the middle of nowhere on a dry lake bed going up rocks. So thank you Onyx Off-Road for bringing us to King of the Hammers. We got their awesome bus over here. We're gonna be building that thing out here really quick. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. We got a lot of really cool things coming up. We're gonna four wheel drive it. We're gonna lift it, do a bunch of really cool awesome stuff. Then we're gonna bring it back and hopefully do some trails with it. So, as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoy this video, go check out this one. Oh, look at the other guy. Look at the other guy. Yeah, they just need to sleep. <laughs> They're taking dirt naps tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, he's hating his life. He's like, I'm just feisty. <laughs> that guy's like, I ain't moving. <laughs>